Thank you for purchasing a Walking Wheels wheelchair. This instructional video will provide you with everything you need to know to set up the wheelchair and get your pet walking. Here's what we'll cover in this video. What's in the Walking Wheels box? How to set up the wheelchair? Putting your dog in the Walking Wheels? Making sure the wheelchair is fitted properly? Helping your dog get used to the wheelchair? Optional wheelchair accessories for purchase. How to contact us. And finally, you can watch dogs taking their first steps and then enjoying their new life in their walking wheels. The walking wheels box comes with everything you need to put together your wheelchair. Inside the box you'll find a tote bag, a DVD instructional video, a manual, the wheelchair frame with black knuckles and legs attached and one snap-in width connector already installed, two snap-in length extenders, a tool kit including an allen key and set screws, the front harness, two convenience handles for leg rings, two wheels with struts, rear leg rings, two stirrups, and the belly belt. Let's begin! You will know that the frame is right side up because of the sticker on the back of the frame showing which side is right side up. Install the extenders on each side by pushing the push button through the five holes on the frame. Once the button is in the black knuckle, use the Allen key that comes with the wheelchair to adjust it past the knuckle. Do that on both sides. Turn the dial cap counterclockwise to release the leg of the wheelchair. Only turn it enough so it can move freely. You don't want to take the dial cap off. Move the leg so it is perpendicular to the ground. You should see one notch in between two raised indicators. That's how you know that it's right side up. This is very important. Do this on both sides. Next we'll put on the all-terrain wheels. The struts are attached to the wheels. Put them into each leg of the wheelchair and snap in place using the push buttons. Adjustments for the height, length, and width can be modified and fine-tuned after your dog is in the wheelchair by using the push buttons. The wheelchair is made to be flexible and move with the body of your dog. There is a slight rattling sound that goes along with the flexibility. This is normal. But if you prefer to reduce the flexibility and the rattling sound, you can tighten up the frame. Only tighten the frame after you have completely adjusted the wheelchair to your dog. We will go over the steps to tightening the frame now, but please remember to do this only after you have put your dog in the wheelchair and have made all final adjustments. To tighten the frame, use the set screws that come with the wheelchair. There are three locations for screwing in the set screws. Outside the back of the frame, outside the end of the frame, and the bottom of the inside leg. Do not over tighten the screws. The wheelchair will now be quieter and less flexible. Again, this is a personal preference. Next, attach the leg rings. The leg rings are a support system for the rear part of the dog. The leg rings come like this. Undo the strapping to make it look like this. The leg ring tubing gets connected onto the wheelchair so that it forms two C's. If it looks like two V's, then rotate the leg rings so that they form two C's instead. The dog's legs will be inserted through the leg rings with the middle Velcro piece tightly holding the rings together. The clips for the leg rings go over the frame. The top part of the clip that the leg ring connects to has a little hole in it. This is the locking mechanism. Push upward until it snaps into place. The leg ring should look like a cradle or baby swing that hangs two to three inches below the frame. If it hangs down further, then you can adjust the leg rings by removing them from the wheelchair. Using scissors, cut about an inch of the tubing off on all four ends, making sure that you don't cut the strap. Then you can readjust the clip tighter to make it smaller. The excess Velcro on the sides cross over the back of the dog to keep the dog secure. You don't have to use these. If you decide you don't want to use them, you can cut them off and use a lighter to burn the ends so they don't fray. 
or Velcro the two sides together to form handles. You will need to use the stirrups if your dog's legs are paralyzed. The stirrups are attached on the back of the wheelchair frame to the two silver metal loops. Make the stirrups snug by using the push lock buttons so that the legs stay at a comfortable height suspended with the rubber tubes right above the hock. You can adjust the length of the stirrups here or you can flip the stirrups over the frame to shorten them like this. Adjust them to be about four to five inches from the ground. Some pets will need additional support under their belly and can use the optional belly belt. This is helpful if the dog's spine bows downward for overweight dogs or for dogs with spinal or disc issues. There are two sides to the belly belt, a side with a loop and a clip, and a side with Velcro. Put on the side with the loop and the clip by sliding the loop through the extender. You can keep it in place by putting the rope around the clip of the extender so it doesn't slide farther back, and then tightening it. Next, undo the Velcro on the other side of the belly belt. Put the Velcro side over the extender and reattach the Velcro. Make sure that the red part will face the underside of your dog. Again, put the rope around the clip of the extender and then tighten. Our model is Bear. Bear is a rescued German Shepherd with degenerative myelopathy. Before putting your dog into the wheelchair, you need to put the front harness on the dog. It is best to remove the three comfort sleeves for easy adjustability. When you hold the harness up, the blue strap should be at the top. Your dog's head will go through the black and blue straps. Release the clip on the red strap so it hangs down. Pass the red strap under your dog behind the front legs and clip into the side of the neoprene panel. Make sure the neoprene shields are positioned over the dog's shoulders. Adjust the harness to fit snugly behind the front legs, over the back, and across the chest. When you have made your adjustments, remove the harness and put the three comfort sleeves back on over the excess strapping. Now put the harness back on your dog. Here's one way to put your dog into the wheelchair. First, make sure that the leg rings are already attached to the wheelchair. Position the wheelchair close to your dog. Lift your dog's rear legs into and through the leg rings. Lift the side extenders through the front harness D-ring and clip into place on each of the side extender mount pads. Crisscross the strapping over the back of your dog or Velcro each side together to form handles. Another way to get your dog into the wheelchair is to put the rear leg rings onto your dog first with the strapping crisscrossed over the dog's back. Position the wheelchair frame around your dog. Put each extender end through each D-ring on the front harness and clip into the side extender mount pads on each side. Then lift your dog's hind end, pulling the leg ring clips up and over the frame, clipping each of the four clips into place. Here's yet another way to get your dog into the wheelchair. Unclip the front two clips on the leg rings so that the front of the leg rings are hanging down. Position the wheelchair frame around the dog and attach the side extenders to the front harness clips and clip into place. Lift up the dog's hind end as you feed the leg ring tubing through the rear legs. Pull the clips over each side of the frame and clip each of the clips into the frame. This is how the strapping looks if you prefer to form side handles.
When the wheelchair is adjusted properly, the dog stands in a natural position. The black knuckles should be in line with the hips. The front harness D-ring clips should be clipped into the side extenders behind the shoulder blade. The dog's back should be straight. The side extenders should be parallel to the ground and should not extend past the dog's front legs. The dog's toe pads should be touching the ground or the rear legs should be held up by the stirrups just above the hock. Remember that the side extenders, the legs, and the back of the wheelchair all have push buttons so that you can adjust the length, height, and width of the wheelchair to best fit your dog. Here are some tips to keep in mind to help your dog get used to the wheelchair. Let your dog get used to wearing the harness first, then introduce the dog to the wheelchair. Always use positive reinforcement for encouragement. If your dog is food motivated, be sure to have very special treats on hand to reward your dog's first steps. Start with short, supervised sessions in the wheelchair, five or 10 minutes, up to several times each day, until your dog is comfortable in the walking wheels. Here are some walking wheels accessories for the wheelchair that may be purchased separately if you wish. The walk and lift combo harness. The walk and belly support. Walk and wheels amputee leg ring cover. Walk and dog boots and stirrup kit. Walk and lift rear harness. And walk and ski attachment. Please refer to your walk and wheels manual to review these instructions. And remember that customer service representatives are always just a phone call or website live chat away, or you can email us. Thank you. Thank you.